Okay. What's up, world? It's your boy, Grayson Friggin' Payne. And, um, pull me out of this recording. Before I start anything, I know I'm late. I know I'm late to talking about this. I'm like, I'm like five months late to talking about this. Almost half a year. Damn, time flies. Alright, so, I, so I, I know I'm late to talking about this. Also, it's 11 p.m. right now. You guys, you aren't going to see this till like midday, the day after I record this. Like right now, it's 11.05 uh, March 9th. You guys aren't going to see this till midday March 10th. Speaking of which, I've changed my calendar up there. Whatever. <laughs> Point is, I'm going to be talking about Unis Honest today. Unis Honest is something I don't think the internet has ever experienced. It's probably experienced something similar. Don't don't get me wrong. The internet has been has been around for a few decades, and it's a huge beast. But I don't think anything like I mean anything truly like this has ever been experienced, and I don't think anything true. I think this concept will be mimicked in the future, and the existence of Unisonis is because of that. But. I don't think anything truly like this, what happened last year, I don't think that that specific feeling that that captured will ever be captured ever again in history. Because there's something very special that Mark and Ethan captured. There's something very special that they captured. Um, and And it's funny because... I was watching their videos on it, right? And they're saying how people, how they've seen, how they've seen people talk to people or just, you know, seen people say how they didn't understand, that mouse off screen, um, how, why, how they didn't understand. Also, I know my screen's like, my screen's laggy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They talked to people or saw people say that who didn't understand the point of Onisanas, who said why. And I'm going to say that. Of course, when I first saw that video. When I when the I remember back in November of 2019, when I first saw that video, very first impressions before watching it was just why what is this I I don't I, I didn't know what it was, and then after watching the video, while Mark and Ethan said how people didn't understand it, me, I understood it completely. I completely understood what this channel was. I completely understood the message, the meaning, all of it. I understood. That we were going to get a year's worth of content, and at the end of that year, at the end of this timer that they had set, at the end of that, this channel would be gone. I understood that. But here's the thing. When you when there's an upcoming big event that's a long time away, you don't you're not really nervous of it. I mean, of course, first learning about it, you're nervous about it. But then, you know, time passes, and over that time, you for you you kind of forget about it sometimes. You don't really, but it goes to the back of your mind. You don't think about the issue at hand. And then that time comes. And then that whole year or whatever time period that had just passed, all of that comes down on top of you like that. And that's what happened for Unisanas. At the beginning, we were like, oh, it's a year away. We're fine. We don't have to worry about this right now. So then we got a, a whole year's worth of videos. A whole year's worth of fun, entertaining, goofy videos. And then the live stream happened. And we were like, oof, it's been a crazy year, <laughs> right? But we had this whole live stream to go through. And we were, you know, and they were going through the channel's history. Um, and then, and then it hit the final hour. And that moment when it hit the final hour, when all of the numbers of the countdown started to go to zero, that, I think the last hour was truly an oh shit moment. That was when we realized like, oh fuck, this is, we might, this is actually going to end. <laughs> and I mean, like, I, like, obviously throughout the year, we knew this was going to end, but it wasn't at the front of our attention. And also, a few months before the live stream, they posted a video in the desert where they were, you know, in the classic um, black and white suits. They were in the, they were in the desert, 
and they talked about the clock, the timer. The timer. They said it was running out. You only said a few months with. But that and that was the moment where people really fucking realized the gravity that like time has been running out. The clock never once, never for a moment stopped. Never once did the clock stop. It kept going throughout that entire year. And it was at that one desert video where we realized this clock is going and it's not going to stop. And then there was a Halloween video. And that was when we realized maybe we should start preparing our goodbyes. So now onto the live stream. And it's like in that final hour, 30 minutes, th those were moments where we really started to fucking like, I don't know, really to start feeling the weight, the weight of that entire year coming down on us. We felt it. We had seen it ever since November of 2019. We saw it in the distance. It was right there. We could see it. We saw it coming. But we didn't pay much mind. We didn't pay much mind. And slowly, gradually, I don't know why I'm looking over there. The camera's right there. And slowly, gradually, it, it came closer. And we saw that it came closer. But we didn't pay mind. And then, in those final 10 minutes of the video, it was there. That thing that we had looked at for the past year, that was slowly coming closer. It was finally here. And at least to me, I didn't know what to do about it. Actually, that's the point. There was nothing you could do about it. It was here. It was going to take Unis and Anis's life. And there was nothing that anyone could do about it. And I remember sitting there. That final hour of the live stream, I will never forget. I will never forget my emotions. I will never forget what happens. I will never forget. If, even me thinking about it, I'm starting to get like shaky and jittery because I'm just remembering. Fucking hell, everything that went through there. It was when all just the memories of the year came flooding back to me. Remembering all the good times I've had with these two. And Amy, if you want to count that. And, and in that final minute. It was almost nirvana. It was almost bliss. Almost. It was scary. And in fact, my my anxiety was ramping really fucking hard up. I didn't know if I could take much more. I almost felt like I was going to throw up. Truly. Truly. It was sad. And, of course, that night, I had gone to bed. I got gone to bed. Fine. You know, obviously, I, you know, I checked... <laughs> Unisana to go on YouTube just to, you know, make sure, and sure enough, it was really gone. But then it was, I woke up, and I went down to the kitchen to make some breakfast. And, you know, I, I remember from last night, and no lie, I genuinely started to tear up. I wasn't bawling, I wasn't crying, but I started to tear up. Because even though this isn't as big as a family member's death, or, 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 a, or a close pet's death, it felt pretty damn close. Because personally for me, and I'm not even talking about Unis, Unis Anis anymore. I'm getting into some personal shit here. Personal shit here. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, uh, this motherfucker, Markiplier, has been a huge part of my life since mid-2015. And to see something like this happen, some huge channel that I've had beautiful experiences with, so much laughter and fun, so much joy has been count oh throughout that year. For it to be gone and to have experienced that final goodbye. Ah, Christ, I'm nine minutes recording. Jeez. You experienced that final goodbye. It was truly something I don't think I'd ever felt on the internet before. I've experienced loss. I've experienced family loss. I've experienced way too many cat losses. For someone of my age, I've, I've experienced close family losses. One, in fact, my mom's, my, my, my grandmother's funeral was the same day, was, was the day after the last Unazana's video. I'm no joke. It, it was a Zoom funeral. 
it was the day after the end of Unasana's, my grandmother's funeral. So, yeah, that's Unasana's. I at least understood what it was from the very beginning. I understood what it was. I understood what it meant. I understood what was coming. But it was at that final hour, 30 minutes, 10 minutes, 1 minute, 10 seconds, where that entire year got bundled into one ball. And it was in those last moments where you held it and you felt the weight of everything that had happened that year come down upon you. And you didn't know if you could handle it, but you had to. You had to be forced to because there was nothing that you could do about it. Death was coming, whether you fucking liked it or not. The timer throughout the entire year, it kept going. It never stopped. Never once did the clock stop. And it kept going until it reached that one last second. In that one last second, everything cleared. The only thing, that one second, could have lasted the fucking eternity as far as I'm concerned. And it was just you, Unis, Anis, Amy. It was just you and them. For that one last second. Nothing else. Absolutely nothing else. And then that one second ended. And it was black. It was gone. The timer had ended. That was soon as honest. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe. Please like. Go check out Mark and Ethan's channel. I think Ethan right now is doing something cool on Twitch. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.